Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and my name is Siri. So today in the video, we are going to talk about a topic which has been requested to me by one of my subscribers and I just thought of making a video on it so that it can help all of you guys. And the topic that we are going to talk about in today's video is how to talk without referring to notes. Uh, we every one of us we want to give speeches we want to give presentations we want to be confident when we give seminars presentation speeches but we are scared that what if i refer notes in between the presentation uh, which is not really cool so i have come up with few tips which can actually help you to not to refer notes while you are talking so that you can be attractive when you give a presentation, when you give a speech or when you give a seminar. Okay, so these are something that I have um, realized about myself and I have figured them out for myself because in the initial days of creating videos, I did not know how to create even a script. I did not even know how to create a script for my video and how to refer it. I had no idea about it, but with time I learned it. And now I think I have a proper script for a video. If I'm speaking in front of you right now, there is a proper script for it. I think about it beforehand. So I'm just going to share few tips which can help you. So starting with tip number one, clarity of purpose. What you want to speak. Now, for example, now I want to talk about a topic uh, which tells you how to talk without referring to notes. I have the clarity in my head that I want to talk about this one particular topic. If I do not know what I am talking about, of course, the audience would not understand what you are talking. Okay, keep audience aside. You would not understand what you are talking. So that is just going to mess up the situation. So you need to have that clarity in your mind what you want to talk about. What are the points that you want to highlight? Uh, I'm, I'm, I highly believe in having a script. Having a script is going to relieve that stress in your brain. You don't have to think at the moment because you know what you have written in the script, right? So writing a script before uh, giving a speech or before uh, giving a presentation or a seminar is very important. So first you need to have that clarity of thought, what you want to speak about. So that is something that you need to think about. If I tell you that you need to have clarity on it, that's not possible. You need to think, think that for yourself. You need to have that clarity for yourself. All right. So having that clarity of thought is very important. And the second point, write it in a way you remember it. See, I'll share my example with this. Um, when I was in my 12th standard, I had this subject called economics. In economics, usually we end up writing so much. We need to write a lot in exams. Like for example, there's a 10 mark answer where we need to write at least an answer of five pages or more than that, or else we'll not be allotted marks. So uh, in my 12th standard and 11th standard, I had this subject, right? So I kind of got used to writing. So if I need to remember something, I make sure that I write. Writing is a habit that I have made for myself, that I have built for myself. If I want to remember something, I write down my thoughts. I write down what I want to speak so that I can remember effectively. So that's the same thing I would like to tell you. You need to write your script properly and you need to write in a way you remember it. Now, I have my own script for a video. I write that script in a way I remember it, right? You might not understand what my script is about, but I will be able to understand it because I wrote it in a way where I can understand it. Now, I'll just show you. There's a book right uh, just beside me where I, where I just have script script written on this book now you might not understand what i have written here i mean you might not understand what i've literally written but i am able to understand it because i wrote it in a way that is memorable to me and that is something that i can remember okay so this is a script that i have written for myself so you need to write that for yourself write in a way that you remember it Write in a way that it is memorable to you. You can memorize the script when you are speaking. 
you know how you can remember it i know how can i remember it right so this is something that you can keep keep in your brain and the third point i would like to tell you is to divide your speech divide your script into three sections um we usually uh, create we usually you know write a list when we have to give a speech when we have to give a presentation or a seminar which actually makes the audience feel uh, bored i would just say that no matter how big your script is just break that down into three topics three sections just divide them into three sections which can actually make the speech sound attractive or anything sound attractive so just break them down no matter how big your script is or no matter how intense your script is you need to break them break them down into three different sections the first thing is that you need to whenever you're talking about a topic i mean this is something that i follow so you might like it or you might not but do let me know how did you like it but okay do let me know that so divide them into three sections uh, first introduction what do you and your opinion about that particular topic now i am speaking about a topic called how to talk without referring notes when i'm talking about this topic i need to make sure that i uh, express my opinion on this topic first how do i relate with it right the next section is to uh, how can we improve it now i'm telling you the tips to improve uh, uh, to to face this problem of how to talk without referring to notes right i'm telling you the tips this is the second section and the third section is your conclusion what do you feel about it what are the changes that you want to make so divide your script into these three sections because that is just going to create a clarity inside your head okay i mean there could be a lot of in- intensity in your speech but of course you can do that after dividing your script into th- these three sections if you feel like there is something left that you want to express you can that is also kind of going to make your speech sound attractive is what i feel and the next point is to create a trigger notes see trigger notes is something that i always swear by, swear by. i love creating trigger notes Uh, if i'm talk if i want to shoot a video if i want to create a video i'm already thinking about it beforehand like for example i need to shoot a video tomorrow i am already thinking about the concept from today itself okay i'm already thinking about the concept i'm already thinking about what do i need to talk in the video already so what i generally do is i write down bullet points okay this is what i need to talk about so as soon as i see that point i should be able to remember the entire script i should be able to uh, remember the entire explanation of that one particular point so you need to create that trigger notes for yourself okay when you are giving a speech when you are delivering a speech a presentation or a seminar try to create trigger notes as soon as you see those five points now like now for example i am going to address five points right i have addressed already four points there's one point left so i have created a trigger note trigger notes for myself so as soon as i see something see the headline of that particular point i should be able to remember the entire explanation of that one particular point and that's how you create the trigger notes because trigger notes is just going to help you so as soon as I, as soon as you see that heading you should be able to trigger it like your mind has to trigger that explanation that's how it should be so you need to create that one for yourself i always believe in creating bullet points no matter even it even when it comes to studies if i'm studying something about uh, business if i'm studying something about accounts commerce or something i theory part what i generally do is i just write i just read the whole part and i write whatever i have understood in bullet points so as soon as i see those bullet points i should be able to remember whatever i have read whatever i have practiced so this is something that i always follow and i think this is quite helpful it's basic but it's helpful and the last point i would like to tell you is to rehearse before there's nothing wrong if you rehearse before i mean what's wrong what happens if you rehearse before i rehearse before i shoot a video i stand in front of mirror i speak with my own self i rehearse what i need to speak i'll tell you the advantages of rehearsing beforehand 
when you rehearse beforehand you are already with full clarity in your mind what you want to speak about and you are sure that you are not going to mess up the situations because you have limited amount of speech in your head already and you don't have to search for words when you are in the speech of course uh you need to go with the flow but rehearsing it beforehand beforehand can give you a clarity in your mind if you feel like adding on any extra points in the speech that you remember on the spot try to add them as well but your base should be perfect what you have rehearsed should be perfect rehearse as many times you want to as many times as you want to okay you know how many times you have to rehearse i cannot decide that for yourself i rehearse at least two times i stand in front of the mirror and speak with my own self i sometimes sit and i just talk to my own self as if someone is sitting in front of me so this is how i rehearse if i rehearse two times i'll be able to remember what i need to speak in the video so rehearse it beforehand there's nothing wrong with it so these are those few points which you can actually follow if you want to talk without referring to notes and remember there's always going to be a certain script that you need to prepare if you want to be perfect or if you want to uh, sound confident in a presentation in a speech or a seminar prepare a script it's fine think about it i'm not telling you to prepare a professional script or a professional list just prepare a script in a way you can remember it all right because you know how you can remember it i do not know that i cannot prepare a script for you in the same way you cannot prepare a script for me you can decide that for yourself i can decide that for myself right so prepare a script beforehand and try to rehearse it and try to create those trigger points and write in a way where you can remember it in a way you can remember it all right and that clarity is something that is very important do not miss out on it okay so i just hope that you guys enjoy this video and these are those basic points which are actually going to be helpful please give it a try they are going to be helpful and that is it for the video guys if you liked this video please give it a like and please do let me know in the comment section how did you like the video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider subscribing i will see you guys very soon till then you take care